What if you take a random subject and turn it into your muse and make art inspired by it? Today I'm going to take a fish and produce three pieces of illustration inspired by it. Hello everyone, how are you? I hope that you are feeling okay today. We are going to take a salmon and make it into our muse of inspiration. And then I'm going to take that salmon and make it into three different illustrations inspired by different parts of the animal. In my art journey I drew tiny tiny fishes in a few of my pieces but I never got inspired by one of them so today I'm going to take this fish and put my brain to work and take out as many ideas as I could I did a little mood board of this fish taking an image from the internet because I don't know how the salmon actually looks like 100% I know that it has a tail and it has two eyes but that's that's it I need a reference so I took it I wrote down salmon Atlantic salmon apparently there are more salmons that I don't know but the one that I took is from the Atlantic apparently I took this fish boy and put it into my reference sheet. I stared at it for a bit and I was like, okay, I'm going to transform you into three different pieces. One is going to be a pattern. Two is going to be an illustration, but from a view that is unusual, not the usual side looking fish that you usually see. It's always like looking that way or that way in the pictures. So I took it from the bottom and you'll see how I did it. And the last illustration is a group of tiny, tiny illustrations that I thought it would be cute to draw this salmon in a cute character style with cute giant eyes. And yeah, you'll see. So let's begin and I will show you a little bit of the speed paint while I tell you what I thought for that idea. The first illustration is the texture of the scales of the fish. The salmon that I got for my reference was very shiny and very glowy. It has such a cool highlighter. <laughs> so I saw that and I wanted to make it into a tiny abstract kind of art piece. So I drew only the scales with a very light center and then I shadowed every corner of it, making so an illustration that I usually don't do, just about a texture. I could use it as a pattern somehow in another drawing in the future because it has such cool light shifts and I enjoyed it so I might use it in the future, who knows? For the second illustration I took the fish and as I said before took the viewing lens that it's usually from the side and put it onto the bottom of the fish but I thought okay so when do you see the bottom of the fish? when you are maybe scuba diving and you are swimming down the water and you're going to the depth of the water and you look up and you see a school of fishes going up above you and there you see it the little salmon that i don't know how big it is or small it is but you don't see it in this drawing so i maybe will research that and put it here somewhere here but yeah, you see this school of fishes swimming above you. And this is the idea that I wanted to put inside of this drawing. The water above the fish, glistening of lights, making this angelic kind of vibe. An angelic salmon. Oh. <laughs> yeah, that is the mood that I wanted to put. Yeah. 
for the third drawing i was like yeah i could do so much more blah 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 but i wanted to make something simple this time and take the fishy and make it into a tiny character with big eyes and big shoes because sometimes this fishy had big 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 shoes mm -hmm. cute i like it in the first tiny illustration it has the big shoes and it has a little rainbow going on behind the tail so that was cute in the second one the little salmon is hiding in a cloud because why not it's cute we move on and now the fish is in a flower <laughs> it's a flower fish ah oh. <laughs> I don't know how I came up with this, but come on, it's cute. It's a flower fish. What do you want more? I know what you want more. The salmon looking at you with his big shoes and his confused look. This is the fourth one. The fifth one was inspired by the saying school of fish because they are going into a grand group all together to school <laughs> no but it's a cute wordplay so yeah I put him into a tiny head of a graduation student reading a little book and it's cute that was the tiny inspiration for this tiny drawing and the last doodle is salmon in a jar salmon in a jar that's it that's the last one <laughs> So this is the end and you can see these three pieces that I'm putting ratata here so you can see all of them. I'll give you a minute to look at them, choose the favorite and tell me in the comment which one is yours. I do have a favorite and it's the little doodle of the fishy that it's looking at you. <laughs> I love that little guy but let me know your opinions on them so we are at the end and i hope that you enjoyed watching me taking inspiration from this strange strange muse the fish the salmon as the end is approaching i am going to say to you the outro and i will be leaving you no Thank you so much for giving me your most precious coin, your time coin. And I will see you in the next video, right? Bye bye! By the way, do you like it? I cut my hair. It's so short. I love it. With this hair, it takes so much less with the air dryer it's been such a long time that i had long hair that this is very very weird to me and i love every single moment of it <laughs> <Bye>. <laughs>